If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy. Hi, it's Kelly Sparta again. I want to talk to you about installing an energetic circuit breaker. And so let me tell you why you need an energetic circuit breaker, first of all, is that if you find yourself getting to the point where you get so drained, so empty, that you suddenly get snippy and bitchy and whiny and complainy with everyone around you, where maybe you get so empty that you actually do things that are completely unreasonable. And then you look back later and go, oh, I'm not so proud of that. Because in, in the moment you were like, no, it's my turn. I do for everybody else and it's my freaking turn and I have a right to do this and I am entitled to do it. If that sounds like you, and for those of you out there who are dealing with the pandemic right now, I will say even more so we get like this because the pandemic's been hard. And so we're even more drained than usual, right? So if this is you, I want to say to you that installing an energetic circuit breaker would be a really good idea. Now, how do you do this? So the first way you do this is that you do it by intending, right? How do we do that? Well, intention is very simple. You get very quiet. You bring all your attention to a single focus point and you say, okay, and you tell your energy field, you tell yourself, I'm installing a circuit breaker. When my energy gets to 50%, I am going to have that circuit breaker flip and I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to turn off my energy flow. My outward energy flow is going to turn off. Okay. Now, let me tell you what you can expect when this happens. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going to go from being wide awake to suddenly being like, oh my God, I have to sleep. I have to sleep right now. I am so tired. Okay. And then you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, why would I want to do that? Well, because it tells you that your energy is getting low. Okay. You can always, in the moment, you can flip that circuit breaker right on again and keep going through your day but you do it knowing that you are now working on your reserves. And yes, 50% is your reserves. It is not when you get to zero that you're working on reserves. When you get to zero and you're still giving, you are actually giving from your life force, not from your reserves. You are actually shortening your life by doing it. You are taking away from what the Chinese would call Jing which is your life force. And we only get so much of that before we die. So you really need to get this under control. So 50% is your reserves. Now, how do you refill? Because you know there's two ways to refill. One is to stop giving and wait and your energy will eventually refill. But that could take a while, right? Another way is to do the tree meditation. And if you do a little search on the channel here, you'll see that there is a tree meditation available for you. If you're listening to this on the podcast, then go to YouTube and the tree meditation is there. And what you can do is you can do that to help refill you. The other thing you can do is do things that naturally refill you. So if you're an introvert, that might be reading a a book that you would enjoy not to learn from. (laughs) <laughs> this is the key, not to learn from, not to have to work on, but something just for pure enjoyment, right? If you're an extrovert, it probably means getting together with friends, hanging out, having a good time. Maybe you make yourself a, a nice cup of tea that would work for either one, right? Nice cup of tea, maybe a nice bath, maybe a pedicure or a manicure or a, or a massage or take yourself out for a nice dinner, you know, do something nice for yourself, that is, uh, it truly is filling you, okay? So let me be clear, wine o'clock is not refilling your energy. Wine o'clock is checking out from your exhaustion. Same thing with binging Netflix or anything else. It is checking out from your exhaustion, okay? So if you're engaged when you're doing it, then it is refilling. 
So for me, when I get a massage, I'm like, oh, life is so good. But if when you get a massage, you're like, I'm asleep on the table, that's a checking out, right? If you're asleep on the table because you're not getting enough sleep, then getting enough sleep would be a good way to recharge, right? The, the things that we do that allow us to feel better when we're done with them, those are the things that I'm talking about, okay? So set your energetic circuit breaker. Notice when it sets off, when you go from wide awake to, oh my God, I have to sleep. And if you flip it back on again in that moment, make sure you start to do some refilling processes immediately afterwards so that you cannot be working in your reserves. And when you do that, you get to give to others from your overflow rather than from your emptiness. And trust me, being on the receiving end, I really prefer your overflow to your emptiness. And with that, I bid you adieu until next time. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,